welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're making a jungle bed using the military poncho, so stick around. A jungle bed is created by using two tripods and a military poncho. Put simply, it's a raised bed. And like all raised beds, they're designed for comfort and also to help prevent your body's heat loss through conduction or your body's contact with the ground. For today's exercise, we'll need a standard military poncho, a saw, a knife, and number 36 bank line. The first thing you want to do is you want to get two poles, and you want these poles to be anywhere from two and a half to three inches in diameter and roughly two feet longer than a folded poncho. Next you want to get six logs, and you want these logs to be anywhere from two and a half to three inches in diameter and roughly armpit to shoulder in length. Alright, your poncho is on the ground, it's folded in half lengthwise. Go ahead and open it up and place your poles inside. One quick tip prior to doing that, go ahead and delim your poles. This will prevent any damage to your poncho. Now go ahead and utilize your metal snaps if you have them. Go ahead and snap it all the way down, and then match up your grommets and go ahead and secure it with a knot of your choice. Now taking your six logs, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create two sets of tripods. And to do this, you want to use a basic tripod lash. What we're going to do is we're going to take our bank line and we're going to start this lashing off with a timber hitch. So to do that we want to go around all three logs, take our tail just like this, and you want to place it underneath and wrap it around between three and six times. Just like this, and you want to pull it tight. Now from this point right here, I want to wrap it six times towards the end of my logs. Now on our sixth pass, we want to go ahead and take our bank line and we want to wrap it between our logs. This is called a frap. We want to do this three times on each side. Now after your third frap right here, I'm going to go ahead and finish it off using a clove hitch. Now at this point right here, you have a couple of options for overhead cover. One, you can place your tripods between two trees and hang your tarp off a ridgeline. 
option number two, you can tie your ridge line on this tripod to this tripod and hang your tarp. Or option number three, you can utilize a ridge pole. Welcome back, that was pretty good to go. Let's talk about a couple of things. First off, the bed itself. This is held in place by the combination of your body weight and gravity. What happens is it pulls your body weight down on your tripods. And as long as your tripods are stable, this bed's only gonna stretch so far and that's gonna stop, so you're pretty safe. Second thing I wanna talk about is this dead air space right here. We've gained comfort and we've reduced conduction or your body's contact with the ground. However, we've gained convection where the breeze blows around you. So to eliminate that, or reduce, or even combat it, we have a couple of options. One, hang a tarp to the ground. Two, pile up leaves, ferns, debris, gear, branches, etc. Whatever tickles your fancy to reduce that dead air space. Thanks for your comments, views, support, and thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.